Hello everybody, my name is Tucker, and welcome back to our Russian fishing for a spin fishing character. Today we are back over at Oldberg on the hunt for pike. So different spot, this time I'm up here at 2167, casting off to the west-southwest. And same thing we've been using, the Blast Crank F60002. And I've got a uh, speed of 50 doing the twitching, and that uh, small one we caught, even though it was a marker, was an immediate bite as soon as the lure hit the water. This one took a couple of turns, but we did get a bite, and it was a little chub. I'll take it. Not really what I'm aiming for, but it'd be worse. So, looking to get some more silver today. Have a little bit of fun. It was raining over at uh, Donuts as well. So it kind of made sense to try something different. Still want the trophy pike. I've tried for a while. Not quite completely blind to it yet, but it's a want. It was a pretty nice day today. It's, looks like it's 83 out there according to my Chromecast right now. Ian, the four-legged thing, went for a long WALK. He is absolutely worn out, which is a good thing. I'm a little bit worn out as well. Last minute pike uh, perch. Yeah. <laughs> 18 grams short of a trophy. That's unfortunate, although we already have a trophy perch here. Is what it is there. The other thing I saw that had my interest was uh, Volkov has a good burbot spot, but a little bit risky to do burbot fishing there because of catfish, and especially with the reels I have. I don't know. I may try it at night. We'll see. Small marker pike there. But we'll play it a little bit by ear. Another pretty quick bite. Probably another pike. One point six three four. I did upgrade the hooks on this, right? Yep. Got one odd hooks on here. Mom, pikey pike. Give me a trophy pike. I deserve it. Come on, pike. Bite. Might be the first cast with nothing. I do want to go ahead and switch over to the steel leader since I'm aiming for pike. Fluorocarbon leader I have should be strong enough, but I did have a pike bite one off here once, so might as well do the right thing and put the steel light leader on. Decent pike with it on too. Two point four one four. On Pike. Yeah. 
There's a decent one. Probably another two to three kilos. 2.479. Slow it down a little. Let's not even get a chance to slow it down. <laughs> In bit before I even had to uh, close the reel. Good problem to have. 1.306. Another smaller one with a pretty immediate bite. 837. On fish. Another fish. One point one one four. Or one point one four four. I think I said that wrong. On Pikey Pike. Another fish. Seven minutes in, 11 fish in the net. Not bad at all. For only one rod. Another fish doing the spin about a half rotation and then count to four. 1.1 kilo pike. Now that I'm showing it off, I'm not actually getting twitching. Looks like a full spin doing a little bit better. Upside down dog, paw on my shoulder, nose on my knee, happy puppy. I have seen jerk baits work well here as well too, but you need pretty high level uh, spin fishing to be able to use jerk baits. Go back to fast mode. Remember correctly, I don't even think I have jerk baits unlocked. I think it's 80. And it's 90. So we got a ways to go there. Not even, I think we're 77.2 is what I saw. Of course, now it just suddenly slowed way down. <laughs> just took a paw to the uh, headset. On 
fish. Different style of twitching. Get a snack. What have I even snagged on? I hate those snags that you can literally just bend over and pull it out if you needed to. You have to go through the RNG snag release system. Here we go. Another probably three kilo pike. Two to three. Or 963 gram chub. Same difference. Another smaller fish again. But it's a fish, pike, and not quite a marker. Dog is licking the side of my laptop right now. And then nothing on that cast. I don't know when I'm muted. I honestly have no idea how long I've been muted. I apologize. Wonder if the dog hit my uh, hand, caused me to mute. He was laying with his head and right on my hand for a second. And as I looked up and realized everything showed. Quiet. Thinking about switching over to the Mosquito instead of the HSV. Give me a little bit of a longer cast. I'm still in wacky rig. So jerk bait rig, I have not unlocked yet. And we'll 
X crank. In. That actually landed on shore. Oh, it's super slow. Forgot about that. And it's in the water. And it didn't really do what I wanted it to. Not getting twitching right now, which is concerning. This rate, I'm going back over to the HSV here in a second. Here's twitching. Come on, Pikey Pike. Started off so well. I guess it got too warm, maybe? Wouldn't think 16 degrees is warm, though. But it really slowed down about 12 degrees. Maybe I'll have a lucky evening time frame. Right now I'm about to throw out the bottom rods though, just so I've got something in the water. Just like before, no real clip on these, so I don't think there's a clip. Probably casting it out between 8 and 10 meters, and about a 30 to 40 percent cast. See if that gets us anything. That was interesting. After I stopped uh, retrieving it, tension popped up for a second, almost like I'm wondering if something bit it and let go. I 
forgot I put my bottom rods on one and two instead of three, two and three like I usually do. Little sleeper. That's interesting. I didn't expect, I didn't think about sleepers maybe being here. I'm trying to decide if I want to do something dumb or not. The answer is yes. With the big hook and nightcrawler and see if we can't get a trophy sleeper. The reason that may be dumb is carp. Common carp, black carp, that type of thing. Again. Small roach. Keep forgetting I don't have binoculars on this account. May have to buy those. We're actually pretty close to being able to afford the balsa spoon, or balsa. That's not a spoon, that's a knife. Uh, the balsa knife to cut and make balsa lures. We've had the supplies to make them for a while, we just haven't had the lure, the knife itself to be able to make them. Happy tiny crucian. I think there's actually a fish on one. There is. There was, and it popped off. Oh, that's frustrating. Since this hasn't helped us. I say we go back to the HSV. And that's not going to help us because that's the wrong rod. That's the right rod with the bond. Steel leader. Thanks, crank sixty-two. The wind has really picked up. I wonder if that's playing into why it slowed down. And it is what it is there, though. And there's a fish. 836 gram pike. Again, the way I'm doing it is click about a half turn, wait about four to five seconds, half turn, wait four to five seconds. It's more like a full turn last time, but when I say a turn, I'm talking of the handle. Of the reel. If you look at it, it's kind of as far from me as it can, as close to me as it can. As far from me as it can, as close to me as it can. That's kind of the goal. Saw some questions around what I'm doing there. And that gets twitching. Fish. 
What did I do? I did that wrong. I thought there was a fish on. Something's wrong. Wow, that uh, seven meter per second wind, almost a seven mile per second wind. I cast almost right at uh, the tip of the island there and it went way off to the right. The wind's coming from over there, straight in front of me. 1.235 chub. That's right, this is a decent fish. Especially for a size 24 hook to be pulling drag like this. Nine hundred and eighty five gram roach pulled that much drag? Wow. Okay, friction break is 20%. Still a little bit surprising, honestly. A 5.4 kilo reel at 20% worn would be about a 4.5 kilo reel, and that was only a 1 kilo roach, and they don't usually pull that hard. Love how for a while we were well over a fish a minute. Now we're about the same under a fish a minute. This wind's calming down a little bit. Fish over there on uh, two. Wanted to say it was three, but I know it's three's in my hand right now. Small roach, and I'm out of red worms. Both blood worms. I gotta fix this. Usually I like whatever I'm using that's not a bottom rod and rod one, even though these are to the left of me. I've messed it up enough times. <laughs> and I put them down backwards. This is three. I 
this small roach. Yep, I didn't realize I was still out. Come on, Pike. Getting a little more aggressive. I'm holding shift this time. A lot of time evening time's good for me. So we'll see. Here's a decent one. Biggest one yet, I think. 3.206. Is that the biggest one yet? Yep. Come on, give me a good pot. Small bream. Nightcrawler and Big Hook is getting nibbled on. I don't think there's a fish on yet. Although sleepers, you never know. Still don't think it's actually on. Definitely think there's something on rod three, kind of the center rod. little bleak. Yeah. No, there's not one on. Good fish. The 
spot just died. That's the wrong rod tuck. Another tiny roach. Try some jigging for some burbot tonight. I may switch over to a normal jig rig instead of the Texas. It actually makes more sense. One of those I did it and then I had second thoughts. Long rod again. What do we have here? Not even going to talk about that fish. Not worth the time. Is a little early for this, but <laughs> I think someone may need to go UTS ID. What's the weather going to be like tomorrow in game? That's supposed to be decent. Let me come back and try again. Did it rain today in game? I don't remember seeing that. Maybe it was before I logged in. I'm wondering if that's not why I had a why everything changed was it started raining. I don't know. I think what I'm going to do is go take the dog out for a few minutes through the night. Leave the two bottom rods in with big hooks and night crawlers and hope we get a squiggly on it. That's what we're going to do. We'll catch this small fish that's not even pulling drag. Little roach. Well, I'm not hold I'm not hoping anything. Well, I'm hoping something's happened. I'm not holding my breath that we're gonna get anything here. But we'll do a try for some meal overnight. I'll take a pause. And then I'm going to go escort the dog outside for a few minutes. 
and then we'll do a little bit more pike fishing in the morning. So see you in a few minutes. All right, we are back. I let these stay overnight. Just sat back down. It's about 5 a.m. Got a 500 gram roach. And probably nothing special here either. By the look of it. 300 gram roach, so. Could have been worse, could have been better. Did take the dog out, took the tucker out, and went and got a load of laundry going as well, too, real quick. Forgot I gotta go into the office again tomorrow. Switch back to our pike rod. Let's see what we can get. Four-legged thing is a little bit excited, so if there's squeaky toy noises here in a second, that's why. Although he's heading towards the couch, so we may be good. He's heading towards the couch, but brought his squeaky toy to the couch. Been a little excited today, too, so we'll see. And my phone just made a lot of noise, and that's got me worried. Don't think it's anything major. Yep. Doesn't look like it. I think some stuff just... Uh, Synced up for the first time in a bit. It's a little bit early to be pike fishing, but I'd rather be out early than late. We probably won't go the full day today because we're already 43 minutes into the episode. You know, a little bit late too. It's about uh, eight fifteen, so be about eight thirty when I want to wrap things up. What we get here doesn't look like it's squiggly. A mm, little burbot. Little being the key word there too, not even a marker. I catch up on my food and comfort after stepping away for the night. Fish on, doesn't look like anything special. Was not anything special, baby pike. I thought I saw a spot in the water, like one of the bottom rods is getting bit, but I don't see anything. Yeah, either one of them are going the direction that I saw, thought I saw the, uh, thought I saw kind of a concentric circle type thing in the water.
if it doesn't pick up pretty soon, I may wrap it up early today. Come on, fish. Give me a good pike. Not even going to talk about that one. It was a tiny, tiny perch. I didn't even look at it. It was less than 100 grams, even. Come on, pikey pike. Fish. Yeah, I'm not feeling it. I'm not getting the action I want. So we're going to go and wrap it up. 34 fish, not the best, not the worst. Overall, I'm pretty happy about today. Got some decent pike, nothing amazing. Not going to be an amazing silver day, but I think it'll get me over 4,500. Eh. I don't think it's going to get me over 4,500 silver. It's going to get me over probably over 43. But I could be wrong. I don't think it's a 250 silver day, though. Unless we get real lucky over at the cafe. That'll be worth it. I don't think I got five Christians. I only got one. We did not get real lucky at the cafe. In fact, we got very unlucky. Five silver plus, ooh, we got very unlucky. Only an 86 silver day. Not the best day at all. We are over 83, or uh, 4,300 silver though. But need at least one more day before we'll be able to afford the um, knife. I'm pretty sure it's 4,500. I don't know if they even have it here. Uh, nope. I only have it for gold, and I'm not paying gold for it. Either way, hope you all enjoyed. We'll be back over on the float character tomorrow, and we'll see you then. Bye-bye now.